Hi loves, how y'all doing? Okay, so today I'm coming at you with an updated review on the Reporter by Louis Vuitton, the PM. Okay, I know I have a couple of videos on these, but I just realized the other day that they are super old. I did not have an updated review on them, and I would like to do that because the quality of the videos are better now. <laughs> and the other ones were, yeah, they're pretty old. But anyway, I'm gonna leave them up because one of them actually is a comparison video between the PM and the GM. And so I want to leave that one up for sure. But anyway, I just so happen to have this bag available on my website and my mobile app for sale right now. And so I wanted to, and I have it in both prints actually. Um, at the time of this video, they are both available. Um, but before I jump in, I just want to bring your attention to the description of this video. There is a link. I would love for you to join my tribe. I do live sales, multiple live sales every week. And um, if you click that link, you will be able to follow me on all social platforms under that crazy handbag lady. And also download my mobile app, That Crazy Handbag Lady. I am in the Google Play Store and the App Store. Be sure and turn on your push notifications and so you don't miss any of my live sales. Okay, so anyway, let me just refresh your memory on the measurements here. And I'm supposed to have this open and I didn't. Okay, reporter, reporter PM. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Reporter PM, reporter PM. Why did I, oh, here it is. Okay, so it is... 11 inches wide, it's pretty straightforward too. Like it's not, it's not, it doesn't have like any, you know, kind of whack shape where it's like, okay, well up here it's like, it's pretty much, you can see, it's like <laughs> all the way around it's the same, you know, the side, like it's pretty straightforward. Anyway, 18 inches, or sorry, 11 inches wide, eight inches tall and five inches deep. And actually, I'm, I'm gonna measure that again just because it looks a little bit, Looks like it's more than five inches because you have basically two compartments. Well, I guess that could be five. Let's see. Oh yeah, I guess that's right. It seemed like it was a bit bigger. Okay, and so um, you have a nylon or sorry, cotton web strap, adjustable strap. Okay, and then you have the front slip pocket here, which is super convenient for you know your phone, keys, whatever. And then you have two zipper compartments, and they're different sizes. So the fr the the front one. So you can just kind of just look this. This is the size of the front one, and then this is the size of the back one, okay? And then here's the tabs, how they hold the, um, the leather piece, and um, here's the other side, that's how that looks. And so whenever you're looking at this bag, just kind of a little, uh, not insider tip, but just a, uh, not a pro tip, because I don't wanna make it sound like I'm gonna be pro, a tip, just, I, okay, so when I had this bag, I don't have it anymore, but when I did, I actually had, I took mine to, uh, you know, leather place, and they basically, uns, you know, they unsewed um, the tabs here, and I added on a swivel hook, and I had them put swivel hooks on it, because, you know, this bag, even though it is a PM size and it's smaller, it can get heavy, and it can be awkward with this, and eventually it is going, it doesn't, you know, the, look at the, look at the hardware. The hardware has, like, right angles, so I think it's strange that they wouldn't put a D ring on here to keep, to ease this to go back and forth. I don't understand like what the motivation was. They probably don't care. <laughs> They're probably like, woman, we didn't create these bags um, to be functional. We created them to be bougie. And that's probably true, so they don't care. But anyway, um, that is something. If you want to preserve the life of your tabs, okay, both top and bottom, I would consider doing what I just said. They can literally, you know, just get one of those stitch poppers and take it out and then put the swivel, put the uh, swivel hook on there and then there you go. And it just helps um, preserve that. Okay, whatever. Okay, so like I said, the front part, you have this area here. The inside has that waterproof material. So if you've ever seen the inside of a Louis Vuitton DeVille or a Trueville or a lot of the older suitcases, I think uh, the Sirius, oh, the Excursion. I have the Excursion, it's back there. It has the same kind of interior. It's this, let me show you. It's this kind of interior. It's that waterproof, wipeable material, okay, or interior. Wait, what did I say? Did I say interior twice? Whatever. You know what I meant. Um, so I think the reason is because these bags were originally for, like, travel. Some sort of, it was like a, tra in the travel line. And so in within that travel line, you had bags that had these kinds of interiors so that you could wipe them out. So they're completely waterproof. So no matter what you spill in here, you can wipe it out. Of course, it's not um, immune to stains. You know, it would still stain with uh, whatever, ink or who knows what. But anyway, so this is the back pocket. Tons of room. I mean, 
I'm going to show you. Like, let's just say that, look, here is a truce 18. Now, like lengthwise, it is small, okay? It's 18 centimeters or whatever that translates to, to uh, inches. But then it's also got quite a bit of depth, but it would fit in here. So if you wanted to have that in here so that you could also organize within this pocket, you, I mean, it'll fit that fine. And it'll also fit a full-size wallet right next to it. So you could basically have both of those things in that back pocket there, okay? And then that doesn't even, like we haven't even got to the first pocket yet, or the front pocket, I mean. And so then what I liked about traveling with this bag is that you can have everything you need basically in the front two pockets, and then you really don't even have to get into the back pocket, um, you know, except for stuff that you don't need to get to as often. Okay, so the front pocket has this really cool little slip pocket here. Um, it doesn't, it's just open, it's just a slip pocket. It's, it will fit a full, I mean, a compact wallet. This is a kiss lock, okay? And so it would fit in there, but it's gonna, it's going to, you know, stick out. So I don't know that I would put, you know, it's, it's kind of, it's a thick little guy. So I'm thinking, well, you don't even need to put your phone in there. But anyway, whatever. Just, you have a nice convenient slip pocket for whatever you choose. And then you still have lots of room just in the pocket itself. Here is an accessory pochette and there's plenty of room on, I mean, you know, in addition to that, like I'm just, here, let me try this. So this is actually a Celine wallet. It's similar to a Sarah wallet. It's seven by four roughly, and it'll fit in the front pocket too. So see, I have two full size wallets in here, a Truce 18 and an accessory pochette, okay? And um, so I'm thinking if you wanted to use it like an, as an actual crossbody in a daily bag, of course you can, but it would also make a great travel bag if you just needed something, you know, uh, just for that purpose. Okay, so again, I am 5'6", not again, I'm 5'6", and it is adjustable strap. This is how it looks. It's very convenient to get in and out of. You have that slip pocket right here, and then those other two pockets, like I said, and they're both really convenient to get in. They both open, I didn't show you this, but they both do open nice and wide. See, like, the zipper goes all the way down. Okay, so if I'm trying to get into this pocket, it's, look at that, it opens nice and wide. So you're not trying to fight to get inside the bag, if that makes sense. Both pockets do that. They both go all the way down, not all the way down, but they go a good ways down on both sides, okay? So it's really convenient as a cross. This is actually a great crossbody bag, okay? Just so happens to have a built-in armrest because, you know, you got this right here. <laughs> and like I said, the Damia Bean, of course, is the same thing. This is a PM in the Damia Bean. And as of, as of the date of this video, they both are available on my on my website, and they're both in really good condition too. Um, oh, and the thing I wanted to try, I'm gonna take out. I'm gonna get into the back pocket and take out the um, full size wallet and the Truce 18. And I just wanted to see. I didn't actually do this before, but I have an iPad. My iPad is the 10.2. In this case, and I'm using my iPad, so I can't actually get my iPad, but my iPad fits in this case. So this, this case, which is also available on my website, um, it fits my 10.2 inch um, iPad perfectly. Right now I have a book in here because I was saying, I showed this in one of my live shows not too long ago, and I was saying how if you didn't want to use it as an iPad, you could use it for your book, and then you could put your highlighter, a little, you know, light, whatever. Anyway, I just wanted to see if it fit in here and if it actually would clear the zipper. Okay, so... It does fit, but you would have to kind of, well, since you would have structured corners on your iPad, you're not gonna be able to zip it. Like it would fit, it would fit your iPad, but it, you wouldn't be able to zip it. So maybe like, let's just say that you wanna travel with your iPad, but you wanna save your back pocket for all of your bigger things, you know, your wallet and whatever little organization piece that you wanna travel with. And let's just say that you can use it in your front pocket, knowing that you're not gonna zip it. So see, oh yeah, okay, actually, you know what? If it's easier in the front pocket for some reason, that's weird, well, you're still not gonna be able to zip it. Don't plan on zipping it, okay? It would fit, but the 10.2 would fit, but it's not going to zip. So, like I said, you could still put your iPad in here though, if you're, tra if you're traveling. Let's just say you wanna use this bag as just a commuter, you know? you're whatever, whether you're a student or you're working and you know, you're going back and forth and you don't, want, you don't want to commute with some big bonky bag, this is a great option because you can still have all of your essentials back here, you know, your, your wallet and your um, whatever bag of choice you want for your organization. And then the front, you can still put this and then look here. 
I've got the core, this is the original core to the iPad, because you know now they have these bigger blocks. So I can fold this up and I can stick this in here, okay? And so I can basically throw all my electronics in here. And now again, you're not gonna be able to zip it, okay? I'm just I'm just saying. So, but you still, I don't know. If it's a big if that, if that is a big thing to you, then it's gonna obviously be a deal breaker. But if you were like, well, you know what? I think I can actually make that work. This might be a good option. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. Again, the reporter PM, there is a GM. There is not an MM. There is not an MM. And as, as of the date of this video, they're both available in, in each print on my website. And so, like I said, don't forget to circle back around and go to that link in the description and consider uh, joining my tribe. You can click that one link and it'll take you to everywhere you need to go, including the download link in the Apple Store and the Google Play Store to download my mobile app. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you in one of my upcoming live sales. Okay, bye!